hello my dear students welcome back to the lecture in this we'll try to understand uh, how to calculate the quantity of any a particular material see when you go for the interview uh, they are not going to give you a very big drawing and ask you to do the calculation obviously that will happen if you're applying for the role of a quantity estimator right so to give you a better picture i'll show you what exactly will happen yeah so what will happen if you're applying for the job of a quantity surveyor then obviously you need to uh, prepare an excel sheet something like this and they will ask you to do an estimation of any of the building because since you're specifically applying for the role of a quantity survey you should be knowing all these things they may give you a certain plan something like this and they'll ask you to do the quantity estimation in the same way they may give you a plan something like this and ask you to find the concrete quantity they are all those things in this particular footing but uh, since uh, we are applying for an entry level job uh, we'll be not taking up entire building and do estimation, but few parts of that we'll try to understand. If you want to understand that something like this, there's a course of mine by name quantity estimation. Again, you'll be getting it for 360 rupees or $9.99. Okay. You can buy the course. You can anytime, uh, you know, what's, uh, I mean, uh, mail me on this mail ID for asking the coupon and I'll send you the coupon if it is available, right? So Akshay Kamat, 73 at gmail.com. There I've explained all these things. It's almost a 22 hours of the content, what I've explained. But that is not required because in the interview, if you are applying for a fresher level, they're not going to do all those things. Huh. But we need to have a basic understanding. We'll try to see that. Now, I'm taking one part of that. Uh, let us say I have given the length of the footing as 4.5 meter. The breadth of my footing is 3.2 meter. And the depth of my footing is 0.5. That means 4.5 meter is my length. And 3.2 meter is my breadth of the footing and my depth of the footing is 0.5. This is the depth of my footing. Got it? Yeah. And it is telling you have to do an excavation of 2.5 meter. That means I want to do an excavation of 2.5 meter. This is a PCC offset, which is mentioned like this. If this is my footing, this bottom layer is my PCC, right? From here to here, I can see an extra distance. Similarly, from here to here, there's extra distance. This offset is 75 mm, which comes out to be 0 0.075 meter. Next is something called as working space. Uh, we have understood what is working space and all in the lecture. So working space means whenever we do the excavation, whatever is the size of my footing, that is not my excavation. What we try to do, we try to take a PCC offset. You can see, we try to take this PCC offset, PCC off offset on both the side. Along with that, we need to have a working space so that the laborers can come, keep their materials and all, and they can work there properly. Again, we are going to take some 300 mm extra space on both the side. So that is called as working space. So since it is 300 mm, I mentioned 0.3 meter and the PCC thickness. You can see this, this was a PCC offset. The horizontal was the PCC offset. You can see this vertical. This is my PCC thickness. Usually we try to keep it as 75 mm. In some cases, we keep it as 100 mm. It depends what is given in the structural drawing, right? All those input I have given it here. Now they may ask you in the interview. Okay. They may give you very simple. They'll give you, see, this is a length of a footing. This is the breadth of the footing. This is a depth and this is a depth of excavation. Tell me the excavation quantity required here, right? Then how do you, how you are going to do that? You don't have to do it on the Excel sheet. You have to do it manually, but I'll teach on Excel and manually. So very simple. Just write down this. I'll write it here. Try to observe it. Okay. Yeah. I'll write it here is equal to 4.5 meter is my length, right? 4.5 meter is a length. I'll add a PCC offset of 75 on this side, 75 mm on this side. Can I do that? So plus 0 0.075 plus 0 0.075. This much is clear. Beyond that, I need to add working space also. I'll take 300 mm working space on the right side. I'll take 300 mm working space on the left side. So I'll add like this 0 0.3 plus 0 0.3 plus 0 0.3. That's it. I'll click enter button. And I'm getting 5.25. And uh, yeah, how come it is 5.2? Okay, fine. I'm getting 5.25. Okay, Chalo, we'll do one more thing. I'll write 5.25 here directly. Okay. No, leave it. Yeah, okay. For, uh, yeah. Next is coming to the breadth part. Length is done. Now come to the breadth because since it's a footing, which is square in or rectangle shape. So I've taken the length side only. Now I have to take the breadth side also, right? Again, for the breadth, you try to do this. Again, same. This time it will be 3.2 plus 75 plus 75 0 0.075 plus 0 0.075 plus working space of 300 working space of 300 working space of 300 plus 0 0.3 plus 0 0.3 enter. Yeah, so 
equal to yeah so i'm getting 3.95 got it now coming to the depth see this d is the depth of the foundation but we are right now we are doing the excavation for the excavation i need the depth of excavation we have mentioned 2.5 meter okay i'll write directly 2.5 meters the depth of my excavation that's it it's very simple now i need to multiply these three quantities i'll get the answer but right? this is my length this is my breadth and this is my depth isn't it try to do it manually along with me that is 5.25 into 3.95 into 2.5 so i'm getting 51.84 exactly see i'm getting 51.84 manually i did it and you can see practically in the excel sheet directly i got 51.84 is the answer so this is how you are supposed to do it now i have linked all this excel sheet i'll be sending you the same excel sheet you try to take this as a kind of assignment okay i'll give you a few footing sizes try to do it and uh, you can verify with the help of excel sheet quickly uh, take the footing size as let me write it here okay do a, do it for 3.5 meter is a length and uh, your breadth is let us say 2.5 now again you take one more footing which is 4.2 meter by 5.2 meter okay uh, we'll do one thing this will be my length okay take it as 3.2 now i'll give one more assignment take it as 7.8 into 2.6 okay i'll write it here because unless and until you don't get uh, these things this is difficult for you to in, uh, in the interview okay so depth of excavation got it yeah now I, i'm giving a different depth let us say the depth will be let us say 5.0 meter uh, let us say you are getting 4.5 and let us say i'm giving you uh, 6.5 okay yeah so i'll let me do it in this way so you should learn excel also but anyway you can learn it later also since you're preparing for the interview they will not they may not ask you to do it on the excel but if you know you can tell them that i can do the same thing on the excel and if you know if you are telling that you know to do an excel then you should be in a position to do it don't simply tell they're going to verify it by giving you a laptop and everything they'll be having with them okay yeah now you do it manually take working space of 300 mm take pcc offset of 75 mm and try to do just to verify your answer directly you input it here it's enough like i see 3.5 2.5 and 5 isn't it i'll directly input here 3.5 2.5 and depth of excursion is 5 meter input 5 here We'll get answer as 69, but you do it manually and try to verify whether you are getting 69 manually or not. Okay. So that is how the Excel sheet is going to help you out. Right. Yeah. So one thing you have to remember, instead of giving this particular uh, equation or instead of giving you to, or instead of asking you to calculate the quantity, they may ask you, what is the unit that you are going to measure the excavation? Then you should tell it is cubic meter or you can say cubic meter is written. So excavation always we measure in terms of cubic meter. Got it? So this much basic understanding you should have. Next, we'll try to see PCC quantity also. How do you find the PCC? PCC in the sense, you see here, this is a PCC what I've given, right? How do you find the quantity of the concrete required in this PCC? Again, it's a very simple calculation. I'll do it here now. For again, PCC, I'll take the length. So what was my length previously? Okay, I'll go with this example, no issues. Take a 3.5 is the length of your uh, footing now and 2.5 is the breadth of your foot, footing and your depth of uh, PCC, that is a PCC thickness is 75 mm. So how do you find it? Again, very same thing. 3.5 is a breadth of your, is a length of your footing, but again, 75 on the 75 you have to add plus 0 0.075 plus 0 0.075. This time you don't have to add working space because you're finding the PCC quantity and not the excursion quantity. Got it. That means you're restricting your calculation up to this part. So I'll put enter here. Yeah, so it is 3.65. Similarly, I'll do for this 2.5. So 2.5 plus 75 plus 75. So plus 0 0.075 plus 0 0.075. Okay, enter. Got it? Yeah. Now, what you're supposed to do? What is the thickness of your PCC? Let us say the thickness is 0 0.075. Okay, I'll tell you what should be the answer. Do it manually along with me. So you have to multiply all these three things. That is 3.65 into 2.65 into 0 0.075. 
I'm getting 0 0.725 manually. And I got the answer is 0 0.73. Got it. I already linked all these things. If you want, if you don't want the PC thickness of 75, you change it to 1.0. I mean, change it to 100 mm, which is 0 0.1 and see how much you're getting 0 0.97. I'll do it for manually also. I'll put 0 0.1. I'm getting 0 0.967. So I'm getting 0 0.97. Got it. Now I'll give you one more assignment. You have to do it. Uh, yeah, no, no need of assignment for the same length breadth. You try to find the PC second length is known. Breadth is known. You already found the excavation for this. If you want, I'll write PCC offset. Yeah. Uh, PCC thickness. I'll write. I'll give you different thickness this time. Okay. Let me say it is 0 0.1. Uh, we'll take a 0. Uh, 0 0.05. Okay. We'll take one more as uh, uh, 0 0.2. I'm giving you different so that you do the calculation. How you're going to do again, same thing. You do it manually, but when you try to apply, for example, if you want to verify whether this answer, whatever you got is correct. 7.5 add 7.8 here. Okay. That is your length. What is the breadth? 2.6 add 2.6 here. Okay. Uh, for the depth of excavation. Okay. 6.5 I'll here. Okay. I'll add everything. No issues. And PCC thickness is 0.2 for this add 0.2 here. And now you do it manually and whatever answer, no, answer will come here only PCC 4.37. If you want, I can do it manually for you quickly. I'll do that. If you want, you can do along with me. I'm getting 4.37. Yeah, practically on the Excel sheet also, I'm getting 4.37 manual also got 4.37. So in this way, I've given you uh, one, three different footings. You have to find excursion quantity. You have to find PCC thickness quantity. So if you learn this, obviously in the interview, they are going to ask you something like this. They may either give you a drawing. Usually they don't give a drawing. They will give some value, something like what I've given. Say this is length, this is breadth, and this is PCC thickness. Uh, help me in calculating the PCC quantity and you can do it, right? Again, remember the PCC unit is also in cubic meter. Excavation unit is also in cubic meter. Yeah. So the remaining things like the footing, shuttering, footing concrete will take up in the next lecture. Till then you practice this because unless and until you don't practice, it's difficult. Only listening to my videos will not help you out. So I hope you enjoyed the lecture up to here. We'll see you back in the next lecture. Thank you.